Here is your host, Dynamics 365 goddess herself, Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. If you're working with Dynamics 365 field service, then you might have come across a scenario where you didn't want the bookable resource to completely complete the work order, but to partially complete the work order. This could be because maybe there are some parts that need to be ordered first before we can complete them. Well, that's the new functionality that is now available inside of Dynamics 365 field service that I will be discussing with you today. Let's take a look. So let me first explain how this works. So we now have the ability as system administrators to configure whether or not a booking status and a booking status, if you're not familiar, that's actually the status on a bookable resource booking. If that status will fully complete the related work order. And I'm kind of talking about uh, or under the assumption that the booking that we're talking about is the last booking or it's the only booking that's being completed for a work order. Obviously, if there's multiple bookings for a work order, then the work order status will be set to complete it when both of those booking statuses are also set to complete it. So what you'll see, as you can kind of see over here, right? I have this completed partial booking status. And once that is selected by a resource, you'll notice that the system status of that work order goes back to opened on scheduled. So the scenario here is, is really that I am a resource, I'm on site. And then for whatever reason, I can't complete all the work that's related to that work order, right? This could be because maybe I need to order some parts first, right? But again, previously we couldn't really do that, right? We had to uh, basically set this to complete it. And then we would actually uh, create one of those or, or select one of those follow-up statuses, but that would still make that original work order in a completed status. So this completely changed that. Now, the way that you can do that is actually uh, on, let me actually navigate here to resources. It's actually on the booking statuses. So if we open up a booking status, you can kind of see, let's go into the completed one and then go on to field service. This work order, the, the status complete work order field, when that is set to on, that means that when the resource selects this status on the booking, it will actually complete that work order. So what I've done is I actually created a new booking status that's called completed dash partial. And if I open that up and click here on field service, you can see here that status complete work order is set to off. That means when a resource selects this status on a booking, it will not complete the work order. So let's take a look to see how this works then in on the application. So here on the mobile app, you see my booking status is set to scheduled. And if I would open this work order, here we are, you can see that that system status is now set to open scheduled. So let's go back to the mobile application again. And let's now change that booking status. So the first thing I need to do is I would need to put it in progress. And then let's say that we're going to then change it to here. You can see my completed partial booking status. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now, if we go back to that work order, let me just go ahead and refresh that real quick. You will note that the system status is now set back to open unscheduled. And if I go here to the bottom, you can see here that my booking, right? One of the bookings related to this work order has been completed, right? Partially because I selected that particular booking status. 
You'll also note that if I go here to my record log, that the completed on dates, right, are not being populated. All of those different things that are happening when you're actually completing a work order is not happening, right? So the completed on is not being uh, created, right? This date and time field is not being updated. Um, all of the, these different things that are happening in the back end, if you, for example, have selected uh, certain products to turn into customer assets and, and timesheets to be uh, created and all of these calculations that are happening uh, in the back end, none of that is happening because again, we have not completed this work order fully, right? And therefore that system status has not been set to complete it yet. I actually think that providing our customers with this flexibility, right? To configure whether or not a booking status is going to fully complete a work order is actually giving us a significant optimization, right? For field service organizations. And by allowing us to now tailor this aspect of this workflow, I think it doesn't only streamline processes, but it also enhances our overall understanding of the specific requirements needed to complete this work. So I think this is a very nice update to uh, Dynamics 365 field service. Now, I also wanted to tell you uh, about another feature or more of a behavior that's new to Dynamics field service. And uh, the way that that works is, and we never had this in the past, is that if somebody that is not the resource, if anybody but the resource goes in here and updates the uh, status of that booking, then previously it would actually update the end time field on that booking. So that was not what we wanted. Let me actually give you uh, an example of when this could be used, right? So let's say a dispatcher schedules a technician. You can kind of see that over here. Chris is scheduled from uh, almost, what is that, 4 p.m., uh, or here 3.27 p.m. to 4.39 p.m. Let's just say that she goes in, she completes the work at that estimated end time of 4.39 p.m., but she forgot to mark that booking as completed. And that's kind of what you can see here, right? It's not that green color. Uh, so it, it's basically saying that she is still in progress currently, even though this particular booking uh, was scheduled for yesterday. So again, previously, if somebody would go in there and update that booking status, then let's say I update this booking status at 6 p.m., then we would see that uh, this would actually expand to 6 p.m. And my end time, right, of me completing it will be set to the date and time that I actually made the update to that booking. This has now been changed. So if anybody except for the resource that the booking is assigned to is updating that booking status. So let me just go ahead and do that. I see that Chris forgot to update it. So I'm going to complete that for her. And what happens then is that that end time on that booking is going to stay the way it was, right? So it's going to stay that way. So I'm going to just going to go ahead and refresh that. And here we go. You can see that it didn't make it any longer, right? So let's open that booking so I can show you that that end date and time is still unchanged. I've actually heard a lot of organization asking for this feature in the past. So I'm really, really glad that it's finally here because this is a well-known scenario, right? That you send your technicians out and somebody might just accidentally forget to mark that booking as completed. So this is really going to, uh, to help with that. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching, until next time.